but I used my insomnia for good and read some comics at two in the morning, uh, including Miss Marvel, the new mutant. Uh, this is the one written by Iman Bellani and Sabir Pirzada art by Carlos Gomez and Adam Gorham and colors by Eric Arseniega. Um, uh, Iman Vellani, who you may remember, is the actor who plays Kamala Khan in the Hell MCU. Yeah. Um, and you're not going to believe this, guys, but I jumped into this Marvel book with no context, and I was confused. Oh. Um, and um, it, it actually wasn't that bad. But as, as, as far as, like, jumping blindly into a, a Marvel book, this is probably the easiest time that I've had. Mm-hmm. Uh, in part because Kamala's friend Bruno is there and he also doesn't know what's going on. Oh, so perfect. <laughs> at, at least I, I felt seen by the book. Um, the thing that confused me was when the, the brief moments where the X-Men were there. Mm-hmm. Um, because the whole point of this book is, uh, so I guess, spoilers for Miss Marvel. Um, Kamala Khan sacrificed herself at one point and then woke up on Krakoa having yep. been reincarnated by their weird pods. Um, and that's actually about that she's an inhuman and a mutant, um, which, which definitely was funny considering that like her, her like mashing characters together for fan fiction was a part. And just like, this is my OC Kamala Khan, who is an inhuman and a mutant. <laughs> Do not steal. She's on Self- the Avengers and the Champions. And- right. right. Self insert character who is yeah. every single thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, is funny. And and the, the book, like the, the way they play it off, like Kamala knows that it's 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 weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like she she acknowledges, like, I don't even know what this means. <laughs> so it it gets a pass on that in my book. I mean, Brian, when I think about it, technically it should be impossible based off of previous X Men lore, but we'll just leave it be for now. So yeah, about how the Terrigen Mist kills mutants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only if your X gene has been awoken, guys. Come on, this is straightforward stuff. But the X gene. All right, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. Um, continue. Maybe Brian, the credit. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The idea of the bottom of this book is that Kamala is working as a spy for the X-Men. Um, made entirely of characters that I hadn't seen before, um, by the way. Except for Kate Pride, uh, okay. who is a ninja now. Has, yeah. She has she has been a ninja for a while? Well, she was a ninja in the past. After she left Professor, you know, she said, Professor Xavier is a jerk, and she walked away. I think she became Shadowcat, and that was more of a, I have katanas, and I wear a, a thing, and, you know, over my face. And yeah, she's been a ninja. Okay. Uh, and then there was the uh, the mashup Colossus and Magic character, who is apparently mm-hmm. from the future. Yeah, I Rasputin IV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm just going to say that, and you can continue to shake your head, yeah, Brian. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> There's not enough time to explain I know. what you're for. Uh, but that's okay, because at least there was a, a nice, easily identifiable bad guy, uh, Orcus, who I've never heard of in my life. Mm. Um, but honestly, like the selling point on this book, I don't think is going to be like the plot or anything like that. It, it's it's not a bad plot by any means. I'm, I'm certainly not saying that. But the thing that really got me with this book was how well it was written like Velani and Pirzada like they nailed the character of Miss Marvel which I mean go figure right like the woman who has been playing her for years now has a good handle on how this character acts yeah and but I, I believe Pirzada writes on the Miss Marvel show and that's kind of how the idea of oh, them working together came to be so sick. you're right this is like Oh, the two experts on the subject? Sure. They, they yeah. should do fine on a book. Yeah, and they do. I mean, there's uh it's the the humor, like it's not joke after joke after joke after joke, but when it is funny, it really hits. Nice. Um they 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 play off the stuff that you don't understand when that if you're like me and you haven't been reading, you might not understand. They play it off in such a way that it just kind of like they roll through it. Like they mentioned like, oh yeah, Tony Stark is married and it's to Emma Frost. Um, Currently. Yeah, I guess. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's a thing that I I I had forgotten about that. Mm-hmm. And when she was like, Tony Stark, a married man, this I gotta see. And I was like, Oh, did he marry Pepper in the comics? And then they cut to Emma Frost. <laughs> I was like, Oh right. That whole thing. It mm-hmm. happened. Uh but we only dwell on that for like a page. And then we're back to her having dreams where her fan fiction characters are trying to tell her something. Um, truly, like some of the more terrifying, like stress dream imagery I've seen in a comic where like all of the teams she's been on are like saying her name and like trying to get her to come back. And then at one point, it's all those characters and they all have her face. Uh. And just seeing like Wolverine and Captain America and. <laughs> All these people with Kamala Khan's face on it is <laughs> definitely like a thing that would keep me up at night for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I read a little bit of this and I think one of the interesting parts of it is that now that Miss that people hate mutants, right, in this this stage, so like Miss Marvel kinda has to keep that hidden for the moment because she already faces a lot of prejudice already, like being an inhuman and being a Muslim. Saying like, there's already a lot going against her. So now adding the mutant stuff on top, uh, but it's very interesting. It's a lot of fun, like Brian said. Uh, I'm glad that you weren't like you didn't really bump into like all the continuity garbage that's kind of holding the book back. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed a lot of it because th- I think that's a good entry point, and that's what Marvel wanted to do, right? Introduce reintroduce this character to the to the people so yeah i I mean maybe it's just because i've like i've built up a tolerance over the years to like just kind of rolling with the punches when it Mm -hmm. comes to reading these like random one-off volumes of marvel comics (laughs) 